Hello friends. In this session, I will be talking about understanding the purpose of new keyword in c .net. This is the very first statement which any c .net programmer is supposed to write. You have a class, you are creating an object with a new keyword and you are instantiating the class. Now, our understanding normally is that new keyword is used to create an instance of a class, isn't it? That is a very layman understanding of purpose of new keyword. New keyword is actually performing a lot of tasks in the background to help you create an instance or help you have an object of a defined class. Now let's understand what those purpose are. Object can be instantiated or allocated on managed heap. What it does, it verifies the size object requires to be allocated on managed heap. That is number one. Number two, if sufficient space is available, then only your object will be allocated on the managed heap. So number one, it verifies the space required. Number two, if a space is available, then it will allocate the object on the managed heap. Third one and most important one, what if a space is not available and I need to create my object? Then new keyword has all the capabilities to go in the background and trigger the garbage collection process. Means if there is not sufficient space available on managed heap and your object needs to be instantiated, and allocated on managed heap, the new keyword can go and trigger the garbage collection process. Now you must be thinking, what if there is no object which can be cleaned up from managed heap? Means we are at step three, there is no object which can be removed, then what happens to the statement which we are defining with new keyword? You are bound to receive out of memory exception. Because of your new object creation, .NET Framework is not going to kill any object which is in use. But that is all depends on how well you are designing your application. So, new is not just an instance creation keyword. It's more than that. And just for your knowledge and awareness, if you have the statement new written in your class library or in your application program, and you want to see the IL, intermediate language of that using ILTESM, the instruction for new keyword is translated as new OBJ. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much.